Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you encryption and decryption using Shift Cipher or Caesar Cipher. So guys, I am going to write entire code in Java and I am going to explain each and every line. So do watch my video till end. Also guys, I will be explaining you in uh, simple or short words what is the Shift Cipher or Caesar Cipher. So let's start the video. So guys, first of all, uh, uh, let me tell you what is Shift Cipher. It's very simple technique of encryption and decryption um, this uh, technique is only used for educational purposes it is not used in real life because it is very simple to break okay so um, uh, the uh, shift cipher is also known as caesar cipher caesar cipher is one of the um, um, this name given to shift cipher when we have key as three so this is one of the variant of um, shift cipher so caesar cipher is variant of uh, shift cipher used for both encryption and decryption now let me show you the formula of this uh, shift cipher so here guys the formula we have is what uh, c is equal to ep what is this c is for cipher text you can see here e is nothing but a process encryption process which is going to encrypt your plain text p is for plain text if i expand this formula here is my main formula p plus k mod 26 so what we are going to do we are going to add um, key value in my plain text and after that we will be taking modulo and this is going to give me cipher text so what is cipher text the converted text is nothing but cipher text and original text is nothing but your plain text okay so what is key key could be any integer value um, any any integer value it could be which you will be adding to your plain text so now next we have decryption formula just a reverse of encryption we can write p is equal to d of c so here what is my uh, my p my p is nothing but i will get my original text back and what is my d d is nothing but my decryption uh, algorithm or decryption process and c is nothing but cipher text so it is going to convert cipher text again back to your plain text so if i simplify this formula we can write uh, um, this decryption as c minus k mod 26 what is c nothing but your cipher text in that we will be subtract the shift value or the key value and after that we will be taking modulo 26 so this is what my formula okay okay guys so let me take you to my vs code and show you the implementation of this concept in java so here i am simply creating one file and the file name is going to be shift cipher okay and dot java and now guys here we will be writing code so guys here first of all we will be creating class so shift cipher is going to be my class name and then here inside this class i'm going to write public static void main method so just write psvm and then inside this guys first of all i'm going to accept input from user two input i'm going to accept one is my plain text another is my value of shift okay so for that i'm going to use a scanner class so here i'm quickly creating object of scanner class for accepting input from user so here system dot in okay and then after this guys it's showing me error over here so we need to import this okay so now just import this scanner class after this we are going to print a message so here s out and i'm going to prompt user enter plain text okay so whatever value user is going to enter that that i'm going to store in one of the variables so here i'm going to create a string variable so string plain text is equal to i will be reading through scanner object so next line i'm writing and then guys i will be accepting another value that is my shift value so again i'm going to write s out and here i'm going to write enter shift value and this shift value is going to be numeric value so again i'm creating variable of uh, integer type k and then is equal to sc dot next int okay so after reading this two value now i'm going to create user defined method encrypt and decrypt for encrypting my data and for decrypting my data so here i'm going to uh, create one more string variable 
uh, and here my string variable is going to be uh, ct that is cipher text and for that I am going to call a method encrypt this is going to be user defined method so we will be writing body of this user defined method so for encryption we require plain text as well as key so just pass this plain text and key and then guys uh, we will be creating one more variable so after uh, decryption I am going to store the value in msg variable so here again I am creating a method decrypt and you know for decryption what I need I need cipher text and key I have shown you that in formula okay and after all this guys here it's showing me message so uh, just click on this quick fix or control plus dot it will uh, show you the options so create a method yes create the method and just delete this comment and this throw part and here also for decrypt you just um, uh, add this method decrypt method so quick fix and you can add the decrypt method fine so this two method we have added we will be writing body of it but before that let's print um, in some statement like after encryption the message is this so here again I'm going to write s out so in double quotes I'm going to print encrypted value is okay so where is my encrypted value stored it is stored in CT okay and now I'm going to print one more time s out here I will be printing decrypted value is and my decrypted value is stored in msg variable fine so this is done now my basic uh, input is done from user also I have shown my output now let's write the logic for encrypt method okay so um, what we will be doing we will be creating a variable of string builder okay because i'm going to take a single single character and i'm going to store in that so uh, string builder i'm creating variable encrypted text okay encrypted text equal to new string variable so uh, why i'm taking string builder variable because i uh, this um, caesar cipher or shift cipher it works on single single letter so whatever letter has been encrypted that i'm going to append to this my um, string builder class here it's showing error because there is no written statement once we complete this code this error will be resolved okay so now this is done we created variable now i will be running for loop so here for int i equal to 0 i less than then my plain text dot length because i will be uh, running from 0 to my plain text and then i plus plus okay so this is the for loop which is going to take a single single character from your string and it is going to append to your string builder after encryption fine so now here uh, I will be uh, extracting the first character so for that I am just writing char ch is equal to pt dot caret so to extract the values I am using caret method so what it will do caret i initially my i is 0 it will go to my plain text and it will take the first character of my plain text okay now here comes very important logic so guys now after extracting the character first of all i'm going to check whether the character is uppercase or lowercase so for that i'm going to write if ch is greater than or equal to small a and ch is less than or equal to small z okay so here this case i'm writing and i will be writing uh, elsif also for checking whether it is uh, uppercase or not for lowercase we have written the condition I will be writing condition for uppercase also so uh, you write else if or you can directly write else also so if it is greater than or equal to capital A and CH is less than or equal to capital Z so this condition we are writing now here inside this condition what we will be doing we will be having logic for converting our character into what cipher text so for that what i'm going to do first of all guys i'm going to convert my letters into what uh, numbers okay so here i'm just showing you the logic here if you see for each and every letters we have assigned position 0 1 2 3 up to 25 okay so this uh, concept we have to do or this uh, we have to implement so for this what logic i'm going to write i'm going to 
सब्ट्रैक्ट द एस का वैल्यू सो इफ इट इज कैपिटल लेटर आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट कैपिटल ए इफ इट इज स्मॉल लेटर आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट स्मॉल ए सो हियर दिस लॉजिक आई एम गोइंग टू यूज सो सी इज माई सिंगल कैरेक्टर दैट इज प्लेन प्लेन टेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर एंड इन दैट आई एम जस्ट सब्ट्रैक्टिंग माइनस ए ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव लेटर ई एंड वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस ई इन टू साइफर टेक्सट एंड माई शिफ्ट वैल्यू इज थ्री सो फॉर दैट वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला सी माइनस ए प्लस माई की वैल्यू एंड देन आई विल बी टेकिंग मॉड्यूलो ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड अगेन आई विल बी एडिंग द ए वैल्यू सो हाउ आई एम डूइंग सी हियर माई सी इज ई सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग ई एंड आई एम सब ट्रैकिंग ए सो यू नो what it does over here it takes as ka value of letter e so if you see as ka value the range of small a to z is 97 to 122 and the range of capital a to capital z is from 65 to 90 okay so here if you see e minus a what is e nothing but my uh, plain text and in that i am subtracting letter a so what happens over here it takes as ka value of 101 so if you see a b c d e so this is 97 this is 98 this is 99 c is 99 d is 100 and this is 101 so 101 minus a 97 what i am getting i am getting value as 4 and if i take you at the top you can see my e is having what position e position right so we are just trying to assign positions by using this formula this line is going to assign a numerical position to my text and then what i'm doing in that i'm adding my shift value so here we have taken example as 3 so in 4 uh, 3 will be added i will be getting value as 7 and after that we have to do modulo 26 so modulo 26 you know modulo does what it finds the remainder so here my 7 is smaller than 26 so you will get the same value because it is smaller than 26 okay i hope you know the concept of calculating remainder so here you write uh, 7 and here you write 26 what will be the remainder 7 will be the remainder okay so here 7 is my remainder so i got 7 as my uh, what my value after do taking modulus now uh, then after what i'm i'm doing i'm adding the value of a again so here you can see since it is small letter i'm adding a again single quote a so in 7 what will happen the va sk value of a will be added and what is sk value of a that is 97 so 97 Plus seven, we will be getting value as one zero four. So if you see what is uh, uh, here, I am getting what numerical value. But we are not going to print numerical value to user. So what I am doing, I am just converting it into char. So hence it will be converted into what again character. So at one zero four, what is the value? So here if you see e is one zero one, then e, then we have f. G H I and so on. So for F the value is one zero two. For G the value is one zero three. For H the value is one zero four. Okay, and then for I the value is one zero five. So here uh, the corresponding value we got for letter E is what H. so now the encrypted value of e is going to be h okay so this concept we are going to use in implementation of shift cipher so let me take you to my code and here let me write the code again so i am doing what i am just assigning the value into the ch variable by converting it into char and here what i am going to write i am going to write ch minus small letter because it is small letter and in that i will be adding key why i am adding key because we are doing encryption and we know in encryption we have to add the key and after that we will be taking modulus 26 why only modulus 26 because we have 26 letters and then in that again i will be adding what letter a so that i can get my character rather than the position and this entire thing i am going to convert it into what char okay so this expression is going to convert your particular letter into cipher text the same code i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste for capital a so in capital a what changes we have to do instead of small a we have to write capital a okay so let's complete that and once this is converted this i'm going to append to my string builder so here enc text uh, dot append we can use and here we will be using 
append and then what we will be appending ch okay ch we are going to append and finally we will be returning this text so as soon as my for loop is completed after that we can have return statement so return and then here enc text i am going to return okay and let me just write to string so it will convert into string and it will return so what i'm doing i'm just um, commenting this part and here i'm going to uh, run and here it's showing me one message so i forgot to write line sc dot close so let me write sc dot close and let's run this program okay so let's comment and let's see whether my encryption is working or not so here we will be running here Okay, so it's asking me plain text. So let me just enter my plain text as Sunita Rai. So and it's asking me shift value. So I'm entering three. So you can see it's showing me some output. Okay, uh, let's enter some simple plain text. So I'm going to enter A B C D. So you will understand like A B C D. I'm entering and three is my shift value. So if you see A will be uh, shifted to what D, B will be shifted to E, and C will be shifted to F. And D will be shifted to G. Okay, done. So that means my encryption is working perfectly. Now let's remove the comment and let's work on this part decryption code. So guys, now let's work on this decryption code. So decryption is same as encryption. Only instead of adding the key, we have to subtract the key. So I'm simply going to copy this code and I'm going to make the necessary changes. So here guys, first of all, I'm just subtracting key. So here I'm writing minus and then i'll just uh, change this variable name instead of encrypted text i'm going to make take it decrypted text and this uh, instead of plain text i required cipher text so ct variable i will be taking and here also i'm going to make this as decrypted text and this variable also i will make as decrypted text so guys here we have forgotten to type minus sign so let me just do that now let's save the code and let's run it so guys now here i'm entering hello as my plain text and shift value i'm entering as three so it's showing me output as khur and decrypted value as hello so i'm getting my original text back that means my code is working perfectly we will run it once more now i'm just going to enter some different uh, text and some different shift value so you can see this is my encrypted text and i'm getting my plain text back so that means my code is working so guys this was implementation of uh, shift cipher or caesar cipher using java i will be creating video for uh, implementation of shift cipher using python so you can click on i button to watch that video so guys if really my video has helped you if you you have understood the topic or concept uh, don't forget to hit on like button and guys share my videos to your friend as much as possible and guys if you have any queries you can put in comment box or you can send me my ig also i will surely reply to your queries and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel i create lots of video related to computer science guys and i'm going to create several videos related to this cryptography algorithm so you can subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys